All right, so my question is, should I continue to bring, um, continue my um, goal of getting Timothy Chalamet a star on Palm Canyon Boulevard? And these are the three French cards that I picked, designed by, um, or that were picked out of the card by my numbers of four, eight, and 17? 17, 17, 17. Yeah. And Steed is going to read the cards so for the us. the Hermit, the Five of Cups, and then the Lovers. So um, the Hermit talks about um, basically there's solitude, there's a search for something that's important, something that has not yet been attained. Um, the Hermit here is looking a bit toward uh, the past as well, right? It can be considered a somewhat uh, regressive as opposed to progressive card, you know, sort of looking back and trying to um, either find a, a piece that's been missing in some way or maybe take time away from the sort of the hustle and the bustle of the world around us to kind of really think about, you know, what is it that we need to make us feel more complete? So the Five of Cups, as we move, we look forward, so this would be the, the near past card. And then, you know, the present card is the Five of Cups, which again talks about an emotional sort of disruption. Sort of like, so there's a, a longing for something, but there's some, we're in the middle of a process here. So this is not the beginning of a process, it's not the end. It's sort of the middle of a process, but it is something that's been close to our heart, something that we've been sort of emotional about for a while. Um, and so, you know, there's the idea here that um, I think with the fives, and particularly the five of cups, it doesn't always necessarily feel like we've made a lot of great progress or that maybe we are just kind of a little disappointed with where that we are because there's a lot of work ahead of us. Um, but we're also, because when you're halfway through, you're almost too far to let something go, right? We're too far in the process to completely let it go. And it's sort of still, there's a great distance ahead of us. So it can feel at times as if it's, um, like it's easy to be disappointed or what, because we see that, you know, have we made a lot of progress one way or the other, right? Particularly when we feel like that we're going at it alone, which is how the hermit kids will sort of bring. So it's a process that maybe has felt like that we're alone. It's close, it's dear to us, it's causing us, you know, this is something that you probably have it, that you're emotional about. Um, and that you've put some work into, but we still have a lot of work ahead. There's quite a bit of work ahead to see this to fruition. So interestingly enough then, I think that we would look towards the next card, which is our future card, and this is the lover's card. Now the lover's card, I think, is easy to sometimes think, oh, well, this is about, you know, we're gonna find like, you know, love and romance, and that's gonna be, people like to see the lover's card very often. But I'm not such a big fan of the lover's card in that context. The lover's card to me talks a little bit more about making choices. Because if you can imagine, when you have, um, when we see here on this card, there are three people here. There's one gentleman and two women. And they're in some ways, we get the sense that he needs to make a choice between the two. And whichever choice that he makes is gonna leave someone else out, right? So choices mean that we close off, once we make a choice, we close off certain possibilities, right? We, t we, we choose a path. Now we've got a path forward, but now the other paths have closed off, right? So that being said though, we have an angel here who um, is sort of guiding, seems to be pointing one over the other. The angel does in some uh, lover's cards, in some Marseille decks, the angel has a blindfold. This particular one does not. So the angel is able to tell us that maybe that there's a little bit more of a sense of um, a divine sort of presence or a divine sort of, um, uh, path that will open up ahead of us but I think that to be quite frank with you with the lover's card coming up um, the answer is not completely clear there's still a choice here to be made right and it's an emotional one it's one that really does like it, it, it it's coming from a place of uh, something that's important to us in our heart um, and we still have a choice ahead of us to sort of figure out exactly where this goes. So maybe what we want to do... It's a big choice because I've, you know, talked to Timmy's agent's uh, secretary. And they all, everybody knows that I have offered to, to spearhead this event. But mm -hmm. um, the choice is, comes down to Timmy accepting 
the star downtown. And that's okay. a big it's a big thing for the city of Palm Springs. I see. To get Chalamet a star down here. <clears throat> it's a big event. So, and so it is perhaps about, that's what we're seeing is that there's a there's a waiting there's a big choice. There's a choice that's being made and maybe it's out of your hands. Yeah. That's why maybe this angel, I was saying that there's a, there's a little bit of maybe since the angel seems to be here pointing one or the other, that might be telling me that um, it's a choice that's being made by something other than other than myself. Than you, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Here you are, right? You're ready to go. Now, with that being said, you know, I do like to look at the bottom card, yeah. right? Yep, yep. Because I think that's a fun way of like trying to, to really give a little bit of extra clarity. And now what I see here is that we have a cavalier of wands. So this means that once the decision is made, though, and maybe this does tell us a little bit about that, you know, there's there's a, a positive outcome for you. Okay. Because what this says is that after that choice has been made, it's going to be time to get to work and move forward. We have a cavalier here, which is like a knight on a horse, which means that you're going to be able to put a lot of energy. This is also the, the, the wands, the suit of passion. He's got the club in his hand, he's ready to go. There'll be a lot of work to be done, and it's gonna be like pounding it out. Right, right, right. So that may be able to kind of give us a little bit of an insight that the prediction may be that, you know, there, there may very well be um, a good outcome to that. Very nice, very nice. And tell me where this deck came from. So this deck is called, um, the, uh, the, the Tarot des, oh, des Ozart. Art. Des Ozart. Art. So it is, is a French. French deck, yes. Um, and, it's and, and interestingly enough, <laughs> if I could just say that he had just, if I could just say that he, he had just did a reading for me, and I'm all like, I would really like to see a French deck. And funny enough, he had had a French deck in his bag. Yeah, and, it is. And it's, nice. it's ironic. So. Anyways, it is. thank you, Steve. You bet. Absolutely. My pleasure.